Hi guys and welcome to simple MDAS calculator developed using Delphi. So let me show you guys how this works. Select any of the option and you can then just click on the button. Check that out guys and you can also see the colors changing and so on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into Delphi development environment and we put one of these very beautiful tutorial together let's do that now guys okay guys let's exit out and start a new project entirely so close that and let's go straight into file here and select new a window vcl application there we go and i'm just going to drag it that much and first of all let's add Let's come in here, let's add radio button. So type in TR. We have one radio button here. One. So I'm gonna copy that. We have copy that and that's two. And copy this as well. So we have four in total. That's all I need anyway. And we also need let's get hold of label let's type in TL there we have a label here okay I'm going to need three of those copy that paste we have two and we need one more copy and paste all right we have three yeah we're gonna need one more making four there and we need one button type in tb grab a button paste it right there and we then need t tb edit we need a button editor yet yeah, that's it i'm gonna drag that underneath here yeah. Now up here, I just need two T E edits. One here and copy that, paste. And right at the top, I'm going to enter the panel. And just drag that here, and that's all there is to the design of the interface. So for the panel, I'm going to change the name of that to D uh, M D A S calculator. Right, and this radio button, I'm going to change that to addition. In fact, let's select it all and just increase the font size, including this. Select it all and come in here. Let's come straight to font. And just make that bold. Let's go for about 30 something. There we go. That seems to be too large. Reduce it okay that's much better all right this is going to be addition and the name of the addition the variable name is going to be rb rb addition so this is going to be subtraction and the variable name will be rb subtraction and so on grab that and change the caption this caption go right up here change the caption to subtraction there so I'm going to speed up the rest and get back to you guys shortly okay all done so let's just move this back a little bit so that we can see the rest of that all right 
if I run it this is what you guys will see let's see it's coming up there we go that is how it's looking now now the next thing now is I'm going to go straight into the button and just start work with the coding so let's move this a little bit more something like that now double click on this button and right inside this button I'm going to create two local variable so the first one I'm going to call it F comma S and A A will be for the answer there and the data type is going to be double brilliant now come right down here first number that will be equals T let's say convert we need to convert it first convert string to floats and what am I converting I'm converting txt enter first enter first dot text that's it done repeat the same thing for the second one and the second one that is going to be s s paste and that is second there we go now I'm going to use an if statement if rb addition dot checked equals true then we want whatever we have inside a inside the variable that is a equals f plus s there and now let's start the details straight into my result lbl result dot caption that will be equals it's we need to convert it let's convert floats to string and that is a there that is the very first one taken care of let's enter a column there so we're just taking care of the very first one so let's see hopefully there's no error here let's run it and see now save it first so let's give it a name and just call that mdas save um, come right down here save the project as well mda okay mdsa that's fine save all right now let's run it and see okay if i select that enter whatever value in here there we go right so let's see this one i want to copy this and use else if copy so let's okay before i copy it i'm going to put end up with uh it's a begin and I'm going to end this here as well right end okay that's the very first one but there's one thing I'd like to do like I change the fonts of that very btn e display dot color and that will be equals we can change the color to whatever color we want let's come in here let's go back in here let's pick a color so that is it I want to change the color of it to let's come in here and just grab something that's window color so let's see if we can grab hold of something else there yeah something okay CL money green okay 
go back in there and just type in CL money green so that's the color so when I run it I can change the color straight to money green grab that enter something in here and something here there look at that CL money green and let's also tell the system the operator that we're using so in here as well I'm going to enter as follows copy that come right down and just say the text that is equals the operator addition there we go let's see run it one more time enter value in there there it's telling us the operator we're using additional op or addition operator okay so that's the very first one taken care of I'm gonna copy that copy and we then use else if so come right down here else if if the operator is subtraction if it's subtraction subtract this there and let's change the color I want to change the color now to something else let's see okay let's see change that to CL gradient interact inactive caption okay so run that run let's see addition there subtraction there and you see the color color might change okay that's fine so we can even change the form itself so let's say the form uh, we could just say form one dot color change that very form copy that paste that right there we can look for something much better though so make that green run that is for addition addition there we go look at that all right so let's add that here I'm going to change the color from green to something else paste that there and this one that is going to be subtraction grab this all right we are set to go for the other two so I'm going to name copy else if copy that and get rid of this as well now ah, paste else if if it's division division change this to division and this becomes division the operator there we go uh, let me get this indented so that you guys can see what I'm up to properly here right now let's copy it again copy and let's take care of the multiplication there we go this will be multiplication and here we change this to and there we go grab this and 
change this around yeah that's it all I just need to do is just change the colors around let's say this one is going to be red and you change this one to maybe gray just play around with it so let's run it there we go that is addition subtraction I haven't changed the color that much here I've changed the vision and there and that's how you create your own MDAS calculator in Delphi so have a good look at the lines of code I'm just going to change the colors around then I'll get back to you guys shortly okay I've made much improvement to the colors so let me show you guys the lines of codes again there those are the lines of code taken from here that's the variable the very first condition that is for the arithmetic operator subtraction and you can see the colors change as well division and multiplication all right let's run it run there we go guys enter a value addition subtraction division multiplication there and that's how you create your own MDAS calculator simple MDAS calculator so with that I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial I suppose you guys enjoy it and please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel bye for now